New at 6, most of us are familiar with hot peppers, right? Well, ghost peppers are so hot, they have set world records. For one Bay Area man, eating a burger topped with ghost pepper paste turned into a serious medical emergency. KPX 5's John Ramos with his story. Ask anyone at San Francisco's Ferry Building Farmer's Market and they'll tell you the expert on peppers here is David Winsberg from Happy Quail Farms. He sells some pretty hot habaneros, but he's not foolish enough to offer ghost peppers. Almost everybody asks, uh, but I asked him, do you eat them? <laughs> to no. I said, yeah, I mean, you want some idiot on YouTube die eating them. I mean, it's not my idea of fun. But that doesn't keep others from trying. YouTube is full of videos of people taking up the challenge to eat one of them. The heat of peppers is measured on something called the Scoville scale. A jalapeno registers 5,000 units. The ghost pepper has a million. You think you're going to die because your throat starts to close up. And so I think part of the endorphin rush is when you realize, oh, I'm alive still. I survived. But one man almost didn't. Doctors at UCSF Medical Center are reporting a case of a man who ate a hamburger with a ghost pepper puree that was so hot it burned a hole in his esophagus, which then collapsed one of his lungs. He spent 23 days in the hospital and went home with a tube down his stomach. But just when you think things have gone about as far as they can, guess again. Now the hottest one is called the Carolina Reaper, which is supposed to be 10 million. So they've gone almost a factor of 10 hotter. Zandra Baldwin makes a killer hot chili, but says she only once tried a tiny taste of a ghost pepper. And I had to down about a, a carton of milk afterward. In fact, it broke my never drinking milk policy. And after what happened to the patient at UCSF, she's hoping cooler heads will prevail. I also work in medicine, so the idea of doing that to yourself is just insanity. But it's job security, too. <laughs> in San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Wow. Well, ironically, mild hot peppers are actually supposed to be good for a sore throat. The chemical that produces heat also attracts blood to the tissue, and that can help fight infection, mm. which Brian Hackney is familiar yeah. with, right? There you go. Hot mm. peppers when you're sick. <laughs> I'm familiar with infections. What are you saying? Oh, hot peppers. Oh, hot peppers. Hot peppers. Yeah, you know, I have moderation in all things. That's the way I approach things. Ken? Well, I'm just reminded of, you know, people putting their hand on a stove, you know. Same Why thing. would you keep doing that on YouTube over and over again uh, when you know what the outcome it's is going to be? Amazing. We've survived Not as a species. Not really sure you, why. Yeah, sort of Neither am I. I'm sure about this. We've got a warming trend on tap Thursday. It peaks, speaking of heat, <laughs> but only in the mid-80s. That should be fairly pleasant.